Hey guys, what is up? It is your friendly neighbor who is here back again with another Isaac Regan. And this time I'm going to start with the Wafer, which is a pretty sweet item. It makes it so all damage that it would be dealt to you is now all dealt in half hearts. It means explosions or champion shots, which would normally be a full heart, are now a half heart. And all damage past the, uh, past the depths, so womb and beyond, which would normally be a full heart, is now a half heart. As well as the most important of all, um... The sharp plug, which normally takes two hearts away from you in order to fully refresh your spacer item, now only takes a half. So you can get four rerolls when you normally would only be able to get one. It's incredible. This item's insane. In the membrane. Insane in the brain! Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain! Let's get into it. I fucking hate the haunt. So, uh, I think, except for that bit, I think I started to learn their movement patterns. Their shooting patterns are still just, like, some tiny whiny bullshit, but I think I understand the little ghost moving pattern now. At least, I definitely understand it more than I used to. Um, like, I've always understood, kind of super basically, that they spiral around you, um and have like movement movement vectors based on the mo the direction you're going or whatever. I've always understood that, but I never really like, you know, got it. Like I, I knew that, but I didn't understand it. Knowing and understanding are two different things. I'm very upset that we lost all of our black hearts though, but I'm very happy about the reroll because growth hormones is a legitimate item while spoon was not, it's not really. I mean, it's, Fine. It's it's okay. But I'm currently so now I'm like on edge about my mic fucking up in the middle of a run. In the middle of a recording. Cause like I don't have the ability to like under you know, really know when it's fucking up. Uh I can look over on my OBS and look at the you know, the, the audio go up and down, you know, and bounces around and shit. Like, I can see that, but um, the only way that it'll ever make me think that my mic has fucked up is basically if... Um... Fuck! I hate that! Oh my god! That's my... I really hate that shit. How those fucking spiders, like, overshoot you by, like, four tiles sometimes. That's actually so frustrating. I was gonna make it without taking a red heart hit. Well, that sucks. Anyway, um, yeah, the only way that I can actually, like, try and deduce that, uh, my mic is fucking up is by peeking over and looking at the levels and being like, it looks like it's spiking without there being any spike. That's pretty much it. That sums up my entire ability to actually know if it's fucking up. So, and I'm, I'm on edge because I had that run recently um, where it fucked up. So I'm only grabbing this just because it's five extra bombs for free, and then I'm re-rolling it. Ankh isn't good, but eh, whatever. You know what, let's actually go to our first room, though. Now that the floor is over and there's actually no downside, and it's pretty good. Maybe next floor we'll actually get a deal. Maybe. It looks fine. My levels look fine. It looks fine. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I might at some point in this run, just because I'm like super on edge about it, I might just disconnect my mic and reconnect it. Because that's the way that I've fixed it in the past. So. I don't know. It has to do with just the cord, I'm sure. Which sucks. Like, it's a really nice microphone. I really like it. It's just that, you know, the cord has issues. I wonder if I can get... I think it's just USB micro USB. So I can probably buy a new one if it is, in fact, the cord. I don't think it's, like, a, a special kind of, like, mic cable. I'm, like, I'm fairly certain... 
uh, I don't use micro USB in my day to day life, so I don't really know anything about it. I'll take it. Uh, I kind of have a sort of understanding of what it looks like. I'm fairly certain that the thing that's plugging into the microphone itself is micro USB. I've, I'm fairly certain. I know micro USB has like a different um, like symbol or whatever. Like USB has like a three prong like electronic gateway looking thing for its its branding, I guess. I think micro USB. I don't know what it is, but whatever. I think it's a micro USB. I'm hoping it's a micro USB. Um, this sucks. I like both of those items. It's just that we have the D six. I don't understand. You know what? Let's just let's make this room easy. That's all I want. I just want that room to be easy. So this is the most mushrooms we'll get in one bomb in this room. Hematomesis, eh? That's not what I wanted. I think I'm gonna re-roll and hope for sharp plug. Dip! Alright, blue map is good. And I'll take the spirit heart just to play it on the safe side, I guess. Hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? I don't actually know like any of the words other than that bit. The song is uh, comfortably numb. By uh, by uh, by by who's it by? Fuck. I don't know. Some '90s. Well, probably not '90s. Like '80s, '70s, '80s. Uh, actual rock band. I don't actually remember who. Why can't I remember who? Fuck. I'm trying real hard. I don't know. I haven't listened to the song in ages. I just remember that intro because it's really, really hard to forget it. Is it Pink Floyd? Is that who it was? I don't remember. Maybe. I fucking hate when you're trying to remember something, right? You know that you should know it, and then, like, the correct answer, or just an answer crops up, and then you can't even say with 100% certainty if that's correct or not. Sure, I'll take it. Speedball. It's the worst. Because normally it's just like, oh, I know, I know the name of the band, I know the name of the band, oh, Cage the Elephant, and then you just, you know, you know it, right? And other times it's just like, I think this is it, but you've, like, somehow tricked yourself into thinking that it's not, so... The, the sound of the band name just isn't, uh, it doesn't set off your, your reflex, you know? Right. Backtracking. Backtracking. Backtracking, 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 backtracking. God, what? Huh? Ooh. I should have been hit. Absolutely, I should have been hit. There's no doubt in my mind that I should have taken a hit there. <laughs> that was absurd, actually. Okay. Let's leave. I could reroll our shop again. Eh, maybe I should. I Wait, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm one charge away. I'm not full charge. Oops. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Super Sloth is kind of annoying. Mostly just because the fight is very finicky. Because he spawns spiders! I will say, spiders are definitely a better enemy to deal with than fucking little chubs when it comes to a boss spawn. Well, that's not me. Maybe that's not true. It's better when my shot, or my uh, tier rate is this high. Because the thing is, right... Both spiders and uh, silkworms, little little ch chads, little no chub. Damn it, dude! I've never had an issue remembering Chad versus Chub until I watched fucking Northern Lion. He ruined me, man. He destroyed all my understanding of what I what I thought I knew. And now I completely lost my train of thought too. Like that was that was a fucking. Awful tangent to go on. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. 
Ooh. Well, I would have liked to know about that before actually popping it. But... You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you just shit the bed, you know? You, you guys shit the bed too, right? Sometimes? Oh, no. I've actually never known if anybody has actually shit the bed. It's a question that I've asked myself quite a few times. Like, I can understand piss in the bed, right? I'm not saying that it's a normal thing for a grown man to, you know, piss the bed or whatever, but... Like, I understand why it happens from, like, a like a physical standpoint. Like, I've, I've been there where it's just like, you know, you're holding in the pee and it just, it's weird, you know? But, like... Like, it feels like it could just come out or something, you know? But, like... I just, part of me, I, I, like, I don't get it. I don't get how could you shit the bed. In, in what fashion is it even physically possible to shit the bed while you're asleep, right? Like, if I'm asleep, and I feel like, uh, you know, a shit coming, I wake up in a fucking heartbeat. Like, it doesn't brew in my intestines for a while. It's, like, it's, you know, I'm like, I need to shit, and then I'm awake, you know? I've had it happen. Where I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, God, I gotta shit real bad. Here's a princess. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize I was directly in the way. That's fine, though, because we can reroll these. Yes. And I guess, sure, why not? I'll fucking take it, whatever. It's not going to make a difference. It might. Eh, it shouldn't have taken it. Whatever. I'm lazy. But yeah, like, I don't know. I've never pissed the bed. I've never shit the bed. I'm one of those people that are called, uh, I th what are they, normies? Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Like, I don't know what has to go wrong in your life for you to have the capability of shitting the bed. If you're, like, older than the age of, like, a couple months. I mean, I know it's just a saying, and I'm trying to think too deeply about a fucking saying, you know. But it, still, man. It's weird to think about. Although, I guess, you know, maybe, maybe you're, like, a super, super old person with, like, horrible, horrible diseases or something. You just you don't know where you are at any given moment. You just shit the bed. Sure. It gives me a pill. I have PhD. It's a good one. Alright. Let's just keep exploring. Why not? Oops. I don't think that'll ever matter, but oops, anyway. I'm gonna definitely use the um, blood banks in the arcade, though. Nice. Uh, because I can do a lot of stuff with that. Um, I can get money, which is already good. If it was just the money aspect, we'd be in business. But it's not just the money. Because now I can actually go to our boss gauntlet. Uh, let's go this way. The way that makes sense. Yoink. What? Yep. Sure. One red chest a rooney, eh? That ain't bad. I mean, I haven't seen these pills, so maybe it is bad, but... With PhD, I can't imagine being upset about a pair of pills. Like, what's the worst case scenario? It's like... Um, but, like, I found pills paralysis. Just literally do nothings that I can see before actually taking, so it can't even possibly hurt me anyway. I don't see a problem with that. I imagine one of them is a Balzer Steel. Uh, I don't know why I think that. It's just, like, I get that vibe. Look at that. Full health to boot. Oh my god. 
We in business. We in business. And this is why you save the two spades for as late as possible. Almost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, there you go. Look at that. I'm gonna get a bunch of keys out of this. Do we have any more rooms? Nope. That's awkward. Hmm. Alright. I'm just gonna grab some more some more money and buy that. Get some tears up, buy that. Grab 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 it. And then I'll uh, throw more hearts at these. I would like at least one blood bag. I wouldn't be upset with two. And you know what? If you just want to give me nothing but money and give me the 99 cents, that's cool too. But I would like a blood bag. I will, I will tell you that. I'm doing the backtracking hearts first. Okay. Gotta, gotta give in sooner or later, Mr. Machine. I'm, I'm here when you are ready. Alright. Well, I think that'll do it. You know, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna pay out. Straight. Maybe there's, you know, maybe if I played it literally exactly one more time it would pay out or whatever, but eh, whatever. Can't, uh, can't anticipate that. I'm looking at the levels and I'm getting concerned. <laughs> I will, I will heavily consider replugging my microphone after this room ends, actually. I'm gonna do it. Give me a minute. Hello? Hopefully you can hear me now. I, I just fumbled around with it uh, underneath the microphone. Because it plugs in underneath, which I think might be the root of the problem. Um, no. No. I think that might be the root of the problem, is that the the USB, the micro USB, at least that's what I think it is, plugs in underneath the microphone. So because it like gravity might like shift it or something, I don't know. I'm not a physicist. Um, so I was just fumbling around underneath it, just like you fumble around with like a like a fucking cup of drink at a, at like a theater. I'm trying to reference the Jim Gaffigan joke. I think that was Jim Gaffigan. Was it Dane Cook? Might have been Dane Cook. No, it was, it was Dane Cook, for like, for sure. Right? I, I think most of the people who hate on Dane Cook probably have never actually listened to a Dane Cook special. I'm not saying Dane Cook's like my favorite comedian. Not even remotely that. I'm just saying that the dude gets unnecessary amounts of hatred. I, I think he gets the same hatred that, like, Linkin Park gets, you know? And Linkin Park and Green Day, right? They get the hate because it's like, the people who hate him used to be people who loved him, right? And then they were like, well, now I'm grown up and I hate the humor and Linkin Park is emo and Green Day is stupid! You know, it's like, it's the people who actually did enjoy them at some point in their lives. It's just they decided that after they got out of their quote-unquote phase that made them enjoy it, they, would, they just decided that instead of just not liking it, they would hate it with all their being. Something like that. I don't know, man. Fucking people are weird. Oh, let's uh, blow this up. And trust me, I actually went through the I hate Dan Cook and Linkin Park and Green Day. I went through that phase. I actually did. Um, but now I'm over it. 
and now I don't hate things just on the basis of me used, you know, having used to like them and stuff like that. Fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. We're good. I can't not take hits. This is actually the most bullshit layout for the bloat. It's so bullshit. Look, he's just gonna stay up there all day long, and there's not an angle that I can be at until he goes all the way down. And then he hops up, and now there's suddenly not an angle again. And then he hops down, and we have an angle. There we go. But now the eyes are fucking homing in on me like goddamn heat-seeking missiles. Fuck the bloat, dude. Worst fucking designed boss that honestly exists in this entire game. This boss is so horrifically designed. Like, frustratingly bad. Because the difficulty in the bloat isn't, like, the things he does. It's the bullshit the game pulls. <laughs> Alright, reroll. Yeah? Um... I'll take this as well. Chaos card. Right. But it's a little bullshitty pulls because it's like his the eyes don't properly work at all. Like they're so fucking off in their hitbox, right? Combined with the fact that he has no tell. Well he has a tell, it just happens after the attack, thus being useless. And honestly, in my opinion, that would I would consider that not a tell if it, you know, does it after the fact or whatever. Can I actually get you to shoot this? I would like you to shoot this. One of Please, thank you. That is an absurd amount of spirit hearts. I don't think I've ever seen three spirit hearts from a single tinted rock. Now I'm confused. Well, I'll live. Yeah, sure. It's not really good. I mean, it literally we're gonna have the same red hearts as we did uh, before this floor, I guess. Or yeah, before this floor. It's like not a problem per se. It's just kind of wonky. Well, that's a few things, I'll tell you. Goosh. Alright, I'll open that one as well. Yep. Turns out Mom's key is not a fair item. It's actually absurd, holy shit. Not all items are created equally. Very, very full on hit points. <laughs> By the way, I'm not really worried about taking hits. Um, mostly because we're super full, I think. I have one spirit heart outside of this room, and I think I have two in the shop still. It might just be one in the shop. But I think it was two. And obviously, I'm gonna be checking out this because I'd be dumb not to get me out of here. All right, what do we got? All right. Wait, right? There's an item room item that I need to reroll. Let me do that. And I'm doing that now because I don't remember. I don't remember if our shop had a battery for sale. If it did, then this is good. If it didn't, then there's really no issue with doing what I did, so. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It did. Sick. Although, I guess I probably should have checked that before taking Mob's Curse, because I, I probably would have re-rolled it. Yeah, I think I would have. It's fine, though. I'm sure everything will be fine. It'll be fine! Ah, curse the maze! Alright. 
so it already happened. Maybe I've already disproved what I had initially thought. Because <laughs> it already happened on the first venture into an unexplored area. So, maybe my theory is uh, a bit flawed. Or maybe my theory is correct, but instead of it just being um, like 100%, right? It's just like the sometimes thing or whatever. So I love Jera. Uh, a lot more than Chaos Card, so I guess I should find a location to use the Chaos Card in, which, honestly, this room would have been phenomenal. But I didn't actually think it would be greed. So let's grab this. I wanna... Got him. Alright. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen somebody use a Chaos Card to deal with poop. I don't think that's ever happened before. In the history of Doter! Sharp plug. Shit. Sharp plug. Shit. Show me. Show me. Sharp plug. I want the sharp plug, man. It's my dream to get a sharp plug. Don't worry about it. I It was intentional. And nothing happened. You didn't see anything. Jesus Christ. Alright, I deal, I deal a bit of the damage. Fuck. I knew I was gonna get hit by that. I just couldn't avoid it. Nothing happened! What do you mean? What, what did I get hit by? I don't know. I'm just making shit up at this point. Okay. Cool. I still want the sharp plug more than anything else in the entire world. But I think I'm gonna actually take the compass. I don't think it's a good decision. I, I guess I'll get it now, because I'm not backtracking anymore at this point. Okay, I should go through the greed room. So I can actually do stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the compass. I'll buy this, of course, because I have tons of cash. Alright. Um, by the way, don't remind me that this run we could have had Blank Card Jera. Just don't remind me, and everything will be great. I would like to go this direction, please. Thank you. Alright. Let's just pop a key down there, why not? I really don't even want to grab it. To be completely honest with you, like I'm, I do not want more of the hit points at this, at this juncture. I want less of the hit points, in fact. Sure, man, I'll grab, I'll grab some, you know, 24 keys in one room. Seems fun. This is pretty good, because we are one or two shotting most enemies. Uh, only a few are not getting one or two shot. No deal with the devil? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. It's actually super frustrating. I grabbed Guppy's hairball, and the no deals with the devil have ever existed. Since that faithful day. Faithful, not faithful. God. Is that another one of those things? Like a, like a, um, could care less sort of thing? Do you think people actually say on that faithful day? I don't think so. But considering I just said it, I wouldn't put it past people. 
By the way, I'm going straight, like, you know, straight for the curse room. Because I need my, my deals with low devil items. And it, it's not going to hurt me as much as it might uh, normally because we have the wafer. But it was just two black hearts. Hee hee ha ha. Super cool. Yeah, I'm not going to not open two golden chests when I have mom's key and 50 keys. I should have gotten hit in there, by the way. I absolutely should have gotten hit in that corner. <laughs> so what's worth noting is that even though we don't, like, you know, we don't have, like, proptosis, so we're not losing DPS by being far away, uh, from our tiers at least, um, it does matter for Rotten Baby. Because the faster the flies can, you know, travel and find the enemy or whatever, uh, the better. I probably should have played this game at least a little bit, but it requires effort and time commitment. Um, but yeah, basically the way that Rotten Baby works is not like the way Guppy works. He only spawns flies when there's... He spawns one fly if there are no flies currently out. That's it. You know, simple as that. Um, so basically, the closer you are to enemies, the, more the faster the flies will reach the enemies, thus the more flies will spawn. So... Definitely worth considering if you're in a safe spot and you can uh, actually stay next to them easily without getting injured. Alright. Yeah, there's the boss. I, sh I mean, I knew that, right? I didn't really know that. I saw the seeker room and was running towards it. But we have a compass, so I should have known about the I'm just... whatever. I'm blind. What are these? 48 hour energy? Tears up. Tears up. Full health. Bombs are key. Well, I actually want the 48 hour energy um, for this. Obviously, I will bring Jero with me, but until we actually get to the chest, Jero doesn't do it. So, no real reason to commit to holding it right now. Maybe. I just, I hate, I hate Skolex just because it's, it's inconvenient. You know, like, what do we got? Tail. Yeah. yeah we got it. Let's reroll this. I'm going to actually take that. Pentagram's pretty damn good. It's not incredible, but it's it's a 1.0 damage up. Um, obviously, the deal with the devil claws or whatever, that doesn't matter at all. Ah! You did... I'm very upset. I really, really hate that shit. I really hate that shit. I really do. Like you saw, after the initial hit, he didn't have enough range to shoot me. So why does he just shoot me? Like, why Why does he just get shots on me at the start of the room? Just why, man? Why? Dude. I'll take the mark. I kind of wanted a guppy item, but mark is too good to re-roll, I think. It's a, it's a fairly legitimate item. Not to mention we have guppy's tail. Um, so... You know, I'm basically saying that I, I anticipate us to get another guppy item. Because the head can be inside of a golden chest. And we're going to get a lot of golden chests. I should have been hit twice in that. It's fine, though. Maybe I'm just a professional, you know? Maybe I don't get hit because I'm good. Nope, that's not the case. But yeah, basically, golden chest items are all head items. That's the chest item pool. Um, and it's not like the, the chest item pool. It's the 
chest and chest room item pool uh, is just all head items. So, and Guppy's head is a head item. And considering that all the head items are, well, I guess there could be a Bob's brain, but there is like Cricket's head, and Goat head. Obviously, Goat head doesn't do anything right now. At least, um, Cricket's head would be great. Guppy's head would make us Guppy, which would be also great. Will my blue fly ever fucking go? I mean, it didn't, finally, as I started complaining about it. Okay, blue flies. I can't say blue fly. I want to say blue fly. Or boo fly. Like, I just, I can't, my brain can't handle the blue fly. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to our hearts, so this could be a, a little bit more sketchy than I would hope. Because we are, no doubt, going to the cursor. No way in hell we are not. I'm too close to the Gupster to stop now, you know? Perthro. Alright. Perthro's pretty good. I'm gonna bring that into the curse room with me. Bombs of key. No thank you. No thank you. Please be good, please be good. Good? Not good. Lock up? Sure. Full health? I mean, it's a thing. Take the perth row with me. Uh, I'll be just holding onto the perth row basically until the floor is over, at which point I will grab the Jira right before heading down to the chest. <sighs> Do I want it? I think I'm actually gonna reroll. No, because I can't get a guppy item in this room. This is just an item room. So, yeah, okay, small rock's fine. Small rock is good. Dear, 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 dear. It's not worth the bombs are key. Also, all this money is great and all, but I would like to actually have a thing to do with it. Which would mean money equals power, which is what I want. Um, which, in fact, is the thing I always want. I want money equals power in almost every run of Isaac. There's very few circumstances where I don't want it. It's like it's always good, right? Even if you like have four cents, that's still what one or point one six damage you're getting. That's pretty good. Point one six is non-zero. That's half of one of those shitty damage ups. Strength, all right. But it's not like it hurts you in any way, you know. And it always has potential of being much better. Alright, super secret room, please be dark room tiled, and be a red chest, and be good! Alright. I have coins for days, so I'll play the shit out of you. Joker? Ooh! Alright. Yay! Uh, I would like my luck upgrade, please, thanks. Are you Percano? That's kind of what I thought. This sh I should have full, yeah. Look at all these trinkets. I will take cancer trinket, by the way, if that drops. It just seems it seems possible for it to drop. It's you know, I mean it's always possible. It's just a matter of like, will the donation or will the the slot machine fortune teller thing I'm a doohick uh, will it actually give me cancer trinket before exploding that is the question
I'm gonna ride this fucking horse all the way to hell. I'm sure that some of these fucking things are useful, these tarot cards, but they're not... They're not the bicycle back, so I pretty much default don't give a shit. Um, because the best they could be is, like, justice. And I don't think justice is gonna matter much. And I'm not gonna pick up, you know, what is that, seven? Yeah, seven tarot cards. Just looking for one of each consumable. Alright. Moon, yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay, um, well, let's, let's just pop it once. Get the freebie out of the way. And then I'll per throw it. And of course it rerolls into that. Fucking D10. What a shitty item. I will obviously take Jera from now on. And then I will, I guess, go into here grabbing coinage. Coinage. And then up here, grabbing coinage. I guess, now that we have more bombs than keys, I will use Bonsar Key. Right, and we gotta go in here. Don't have to. Would like to. Just get my money back, you know. Get a return on my investment. Brink. Bling. What do you got? Hmm, AAA battery. Actually pretty good. I might take that. I think I will, actually. Shit. Give me the AAA battery! Thank you. Okay. So that's... I mean, that'll do it for this floor, right? Like, I, I don't want to use another reroll on the thing back there, because then I won't have a full reroll ready for the chest. And I have eight items that I'm willing to reroll, so... Yeah. Fucking lightning. Motherfucker! I just hate the random lightnings. Normally you can, like... You know, all you have to do is, like, fade one of them. Right? Because you normally have enough DPS to not give a shit. Jera. Pick fetus. Holy mantle. Undefined. Alright. Can I just, like, not even open the rest of these? Because, like, we, we hit the jackpot. Damn it. That's upsetting. Um, I don't even know if I want these, though. I don't think I do. I do want that. Because I want shit to be real sweet. Like, I have such a high tier rate, right? That all I want right now, pretty much, are tier to lay down. That's pretty much it. I want tier to lay down, and I want something sweet. And Epic Fetus, however broken it is, I wouldn't consider it sweet. It, it, it can be sweet with, like, multi-shot and shit like that, but, like, I don't think by default it's very sweet. Roll our trillions of items. Let's use our freebie. It's a full health. Sure. It's better than a uh, duo hearts, I guess. They're both pretty middling. I don't actually want the health up. It's passive, there's only one chest in the room, why not? Ooh, what a convenient item to get in a room with one item. I will be using that. Okay. Um. Right, 
Let's let's get something sweet. Let's get something real sweet. Come on, I'm ready. Sure. Sweetness. No. There's so many items in the game that are just so sweet, but like they're not here. They're not dropping. I am not getting them. <laughs> God, I'm actually, my stomach just growled. I don't know if you can hear that. But, holy shit, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go get, like, burritos or something. Maybe that's, that's misleading. I will go get a uh, burrito. It's a large burrito. I have a local place called Los Burritos. And they're open at super ridiculous hours, which is great. Um, and, as you may expect, based on their name, they sell burritos. <laughs> it's really good. The burritos that they sell are fucking phenomenal. And super filling, too. It's like... I want to say it's about, uh, eight bucks after tax? For, like, if you've ever had Chipotle... Which I feel a large number of you have. I'm gonna take this because we actually have a lot of luck along with this. What's our luck stat look like? Uh, six. I need nine? Which I'm not gonna get. Unless we find more pill drops. But, uh, you know, compared to Chipotle burritos, Los are probably 1.5 times the size. And they actually have ground beef as an option, unlike Los, the monsters. That's the only gripe I really have with Los, is one, their salsa is like not that great. It's fine, but it's not that great. And then two, you can't get ground beef. You can get beef, it's barbacoa, which is like barbecued, like, cow, some part of the cow, I don't know. And it's like, it's fine, it's not what I would like though, because it has like a, a barbecue flavor to it, you know? That's not what I'm about. Also, I'm very upset about the way that this broke down. Because <laughs> I don't have enough rooms to reroll. I will have a reroll after beating this next room. Uh, oops. Okay, let's just go. Mega Satan! Bring it on! Back off, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. I know that you are wrong, this is not where you belong. It's a good song. I'll wholeheartedly admit, I only know about that song because of the game Karaoke Revolution Party for the PlayStation 2. Back in the day when it was a not weird thing for. Well, no, I guess it was more of a weird thing back then. Never ignore what I was just saying. But back in the day when adults purchased party games for their video game consoles owned by children. Their own children, specifically. It's actually like exactly what happened. My parents were like, this will be a fun game. And then, what's that? relatives were over and it was it was actually a pretty enjoyable game except for the fact that it was basically um karaoke revolution is like it would give you the lyrics and it would give you like a guitar hero-esque like uh what do you call conveyor belt um and like you know nor it, it expects you for like headstrong it's like headstrong I'll take a... like you actually have to like sing it but you could actually just do like you literally just do that <laughs> right because it's a ps2 game they didn't they don't have the technology back then anyway uh thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that one that was a nice run nice relaxing run no breaking unfortunately i really i want to get a breaking run soon i do but you know if i see items that are sweet to start with and wafer is like a starting item for a breaking run so we had a chance but anyway Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.